Really excited about this next one, Steve. We continue our Surprise Squad series focused on local healthcare workers. This week, we head to St. Luke's and surprise a nurse who was a little reluctant once she realized she was going to be the center of attention. Get a little stage fright. It's just to say a few words, right? Here. I think she's feeling better if she has some support. Is that okay? That's perfect. Candy, how are you? What are you? <laughs> My name's Matt Chambers. I'm with the KMOV Surprise Squad. So I first want to talk a little bit about your career in nursing. What made you want to do that kind of work? Um, well, three of my aunts are nurses. And I don't know, I worked at a daycare in the infant room. I just, I don't know, it's always something I wanted to do. So I work on the neuroscience unit where we take care of strokes, back surgeries, neck surgeries, things like that. I understand that you won an excellence in nursing award from St. Luke's, like in your first year as a nurse. So it was crazy. I never thought I'd win one. <laughs> How did that make you feel? Oh, very proud. All the hard work paid off. Let's fast forward to today. I know that your your unit has changed roles and it's it's really changed your world. Um, well, now we just have only COVID patients. So, I mean, they still have other health problems, but they're all COVID testing and rollouts and positives. So. so I understand you're engaged. Tell me a little bit about your fiance. We've known each other since we were in kindergarten. So we were supposed to get married in May, but now, you know, we're not. So hopefully October. Is your fiance still working through all of this? No, he's not. I just want to make sure I get this straight. You drive an hour one way. You should be getting married right about now, but of course you're not because of the pandemic. Your fiance has been laid off, might not be able to go back to work because he's engaged to a nurse who's working on the front lines. And all of this is happening just a few months after you bought a new house. Do I have all that covered? Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I feel like it's time for something good to happen in your life right now. We think that it's absolutely incredible that you give up two hours of your own personal time each day just to get into work. And our friends at Circle K think that that's pretty awesome too. So they have decided to donate a $100 Circle K gift card to you. There is one more thing. Scott Credit Union makes these surprises possible, Candy, and they heard about what you do and what you're going through, and they wanted to ease the burden a little bit. So they've donated a $400 Visa gift card that you can spend any way you want. That would be awesome. <laughs> it really would. We wouldn't know anything about you or your story, Candy, if it weren't for the people that are surrounding you right now. And I have to be honest, this has never happened before. Your coworkers found out what we were doing and on their own, they've collected another little kitty of money that they will be donating to you and your fiance to use. You, guys. <laughs> you had no idea that any of this was going to take place. How are you feeling right now? Emotional, happy. I have the best coworkers. <laughs>